It's fourth down. Everybody knows the play. Um, 17-14. A field goal puts you up six. Uh, obviously, you decide to go for it. So we're setting up the play. So let's let's start with the, the headset. IRI. If you got a simple completion, throw it. Desmond, you got to look it in. So let's, let's hold right there, Ira, if we can. So if you got a simple completion, throw it. Assume you're talking to Elvis. Right. And that simply means because that that is the option on the on the pass route, right? Right. It's, okay. And if they single cover Desmond, he's going to throw in the ball. Now it's it's you know it. He knew exactly what I was talking about. I was just reviewing him to, or reviewing through him what the check was by stating it to him that way. I knew he knew what it, but I just wanted him to re- relax and make sure he knew it. Absolutely. Desmond, you got to look it in. Okay. Hey, give him the hitch. If you don't, hey, run 29. Okay. It's automatic. Let's hold up there. Right. So go, can you go back to that, Ira, again? Okay, give him the hitch. If you don't, hey, run 29. Give him the it's hitch. It's automatically the hitch. It's automatically the hitch. So explain okay. uh, again, like you're, like you're talking to um, uh, okay. my mother. Okay. The, basically the are. hitch <laughs> means that Desmond is going yeah. to go down five yards turn around and look at Elvis, and hopefully the Elvis is throwing the ball. This is what makes this a difficult play before Desmond stops because you don't want to stop and stand there and give the defensive back a chance to get it. Right. So if he's single covered, run down, turn around, catch the ball, hey, if we fall down or whatever, but I think he's going to beat the guy one-on-one and maybe run for a touchdown. So are you thinking when you called the play that it was going to be a pass? Well, I think I think we know that later, but – I think because I think you talk about it. Go ahead. Okay, give him the hitch. If you don't, run 29. It's automatically the hitch. He sits down. I'm going to let him fade. Okay, go stop that, Ira. So if he sits down, I'm going to let him fade. Go ahead. I'm, if he sits down, I'm going to run the fade. So what is- Desmond's going to run the fade. Well, what happened is we see single coverage out there. Elvis sings single coverage. So he knows this is the play we want. As he's into his cadence and he's calling, okay, Blue Yost, Blue Yost, which was our hitch package where he was just going to run a stop, they change the defense and rotate out. Now somebody rolls up on him and somebody's going to cover the hitch. We can't go down five yards because the corner's going to sit at five yards. So anytime you get that, he breaks it automatically, just like they said in, in there. I, he's telling Elvis, I think he's telling Desmond right here, excuse me, that, hey, run the hitch if the guy, or run the fade if the guy sits down. Play that one more time. He sits down, I'm going to let him fade. He sits down, I'm going to let him fade. So yeah. and sits a, down just means run a fade. that's Elvis talking. And when he it. says sits down, does that mean he, if he stays tight on you? Yeah, if the corner stays there. You know, you just can't. If you're going down five yards and turning around, you're standing right there. You can't do it. So Elvis, so Elvis reminds him if he sits down, run a fade. Desmond would have done it automatically because he knows it. But anyways, that was great conversation with the players. You know, talking through what they're going to do, and you knew everybody. You feel per- pretty comfortable on what what's going on out there. Excellent. Go ahead, Ar. Let him fade. You want to you want you want Caesar? Yeah, we're going Caesar. Hey, hey, it was twenty nine or Caesar. Get out of the way. Okay. Any All right, twenty nine or Caesar. We're going to run the toss away from Desmond probably if it's a running play, unless the other side looks very good. Okay. So where's the weakest side of the line? If they double Desmond, we don't have the pass. We either run right or left. Twenty nine. We're going left. Caesar, we were going to go to the right, okay? Okay. A lot of these are code words like Caesar was because we used a no huddle at that time, and we didn't want to talk in terms of numbers because kids get onto the numbers. So uh, that's what we did there. Okay. Yeah, we'll go Caesar. Hey, hey, it was 29 and Caesar. Get out of the way. Yeah, no matter what, just block. Right tight, right tight, 29, Caesar or Ghost. Caesar or Ghost. Hey, Ricky! Ricky! You know it's toss. You know it's toss. Let's hold right there. So you know it's toss, which right. means. Man, if we're going to go 29, we're going to toss you the ball. It's okay. not a handoff. There could be a handoff or a toss. In this case, we wanted him to get more air so he could see the whole thing. And again, most certainly he knows that, but it's a high-pressure situation. You're right. just 
reassuring Which, and, and, and talk, that, everybody's talking through and that's okay. why i think we call time out to bring everybody over to kind of communicate that whole system because see what we really believe here is and it doesn't always work it can backfire but the best guy to call the play on a fourth and one is elvis he's the quarterback he can change the play whatever defense you have it doesn't always work but whatever defense you have up there I feel good because I'm running the best play that I think we have or we think we have, okay? So it's either going to be a pass or it's run. And Elvis was good in this. I think in this game he was 20 for 22 he or was. something like it, that. You know, that's so funny. He can throw the hitch, all right. He, Of course, Desmond gets so much credit and to some extent Gerback. Right. But he had a remark. The quarterback, of course, Gerback had a remarkable game, 20 for 22. I mean, you don't really see – that, you, that's remarkable. And you know something? That was one Pell. of the greatest catches I've ever seen. And at the same time, it was one of the greatest throws. You Good. know, because he put the ball up with air. Whenever you see that long ball going deep and you let the guy fade to it, the offense is in better position to make that catch than the defense is to plan. Now, the thing Desmond didn't know, because he stated later, that I didn't think I could get to it. I didn't either. That I, was, I was the greatest the thing. Elvis knew to throw it. He threw it high, and Desmond was doubting whether he could give to get to it. But it's the fact it's Notre Dame in a packed stadium. They're all roaring. That crowd is electric, and he's going faster maybe than he ever did in his life. And he dove, and, he, and he, when he caught that ball, you can see those eyes in different pictures, Sports Illustrated and all, and really concentrating on that ball. It was a great play by both of those guys. Absolutely. Well, great let's keep, play. Let's keep going. You know it's toss. You know it's toss. You know what we're going to do right now? Ira, right, can you pause it right head. there? So the band's playing pretty loud. Do you hear any of that when you're on the sidelines? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah now, do you wish they maybe didn't play the, 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 the songs right there? Because I think they're... Now, where did they sit, Ira? Did they sit where they sit today? I don't they've think they moved, sat they've there. They moved, and I think that they were where they are now then because they moved to the other side, to the east side, during the cha- like right on the championship time in the late '90s, yeah. early 2000s, and then they moved back. But I think that they that I think the band was yeah in the corner, but right behind you guys. Now, were they behind the visitors over there or not? Somebody I don't used th- to sit there during the Ohio State game. I know when they packed the state. I don't know. In nine, and I'm trying to just think because I know that in '93 through '96 they were on our side, and then they moved later on, and then they moved back. Okay. I just don't know, but I don't remember before '93. So that's that comes up pretty loud in your in the. I mean, we can hear it here on the audio. Is that a distraction? I mean, I know it's a football game. I know we have a band. We want we want to hear the band. No, you know, I don't think they would have been playing that loud during the, the cadence. You know what right. I mean? Oh, absolutely I'm not. The cadence. But I don't still, think you're were. trying to talk. You, oh, yeah. You, but it, but it's also you're you're kind of getting wired up. You know, okay. you're getting fired, they're, they're fired up. There's nothing. Uh, we're okay there. Okay. Go ahead, Ira. Desmond's going to score a touchdown. Okay. Let's get, rewind that one more time. You know what we're going to do right now? He's going to throw it to Desmond, and Desmond's going to score a touchdown. Okay. So pause that. Now, are are you who are you talking to? Just whoever's around? Or are you talking to somebody back up in the booth? Or well, the people in the booth can always hear me because I got the <clears throat> excuse me phones on. But we also got a group of player or coaches right there too. So really talking to all of them. And uh, the special thing about that, it's not special. It's just the the truth. I think we're throwing the hitch. Elvis thinks he's throwing the hitch, okay? And Desmond thinks he's going a five-yard stop <clears throat> if we're passing, okay? Well, when he gets up underneath center, he looks at it. Desmond is single. We're going for the five-yard stop route. The defense rotates, and they put, end up with two guys over there, so that corner sits down. And remember earlier yeah. in the conversation, he says, well, if he sits down, you take off, Okay. And then Elvis throws it up high. Desmond goes, gets it. We were fortunate. It was a touchdown. And as I said earlier, two great uh, kids making 
two great plays on the same down. And yet, probably in my mind initially when I'm saying this about a touchdown, I'm thinking, I know what I'm thinking. He's going to hit Desmond with a five-yard hitch. Desmond's going to make that guy miss, and now he's going to go really? all the way. Okay. See, because I never, because I didn't think they were going to rotate with the guy coming up. Interesting. Okay. But, Very interesting. So it, it, they had an automatic at the line of scrimmage and tell everybody what to do, and then those two guys had an automatic themselves. One going fade, one throwing the fade. What, what, when you say they got an automatic, what is that? It's an automatic. Well, it changed read. the play. Yeah. Okay. Like they were changing the play with a, a verbal automatic. Okay. All right. And then the next time they're up there underneath center and the guy rolls up, the ball is snapped. Okay. Now it's an automatic, but it's adjustment to the defense. You automatically adjust on this play and then he, he takes off and goes. Excellent. Jason, I'd be kicking a field goal. Okay, so let's let's hold that right there. So I, I'm not sure if you say Jay or Jerry, but you, you I, I do think a I'm saying Jerry. Guess. Okay, yeah, because Hamlin's probably up in the press box, and I'm just kind of thinking about. I'm talking to myself, but I'm saying his name is what I'm doing. I knew, I felt very good about what we had just called and what we were doing. We were going to try to win the game, put it to him right then. Okay. And I pictured us catching the ball probably on the pass because they wouldn't roll up the corner, which they did. But we would get about three or four yards and it would be a first down and then we could continue to drive the ball down there. That's kind of what was going on in my mind because I never thought they'd roll the corner up like they did. Right. So is is Jerry someone – that you kind of talk to? Well, he, he's been around a long time. Well, yeah, is he kind I mean, of confident? I mean, is that your oh, yeah, kind but, of your buddy? But, that, the, believe me, the question at that time, it wouldn't have made – he says, I said, should I have been kicking yeah. the thing like, you know, we, we aren't doing it, but we're, you know, maybe we should have. But that's just kind of second-guessing yourself and you're trying to talk yourself into what you're doing. Now, are you guys talking through the game, though, sometimes, you and you and Coach Hamlin? Um, yeah, we'd be talking like that. Yeah, <clears throat> okay. Different things, yeah. Sure. If he drops this ball. That's Jerry right there. Oh, oh my God. That's him, I huh? Think, yeah. Okay. I think. Yeah. Well, there there seems to be a, a pretty long – now, sure, the play had had to develop, and it took a while for that ball to come down and, and signal, but there is a pause there. No one says anything. You, you know, what? so what were you thinking there when when, uh, when you knew? Because Elvis pumped, uh, and you saw, of course, this play, so um, – so talk about that a little yeah, bit. He, yeah, he, he looks out at Desmond, and as he goes, I'm not sure part of it wasn't, you know, am I throwing this thing? And then he pulls it back down because the corner squatted, and he saw Desmond. Desmond did a great job getting into that route fast because, see, what the defensive guy is supposed to do is jam him, and, and, now, and Desmond just took off on the guy and didn't get much of a jam. Well, that makes it harder for their second guy coming over the top. He can't get down there. And they both went back, but he can't get down to, to uh, Desmond. Do you remember but, seeing uh, the other uh, defender uh, move out on Desmond? I know it all happened so fast. Yeah, but do, yeah, do you, later, yeah. Were you concerned? Once you, once you get into that, oh, yeah, yeah. Because he, yeah. he had it covered, basically. Yeah, I mean, they had, <laughs> yeah, because they had the stop route covered, yeah. And if, if it would have happened, they did a great job with their timing. I have to give them credit there. The, the fact that they, they didn't, they let us get into our cadence, so to speak, to get us to check and then cover to it. Because, you know, they probably knew we not what we were doing all the time, but sometimes that those are the plays you had to stop in that formation. All right. But, yeah, the ball went up. It was a little more excitement. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I think that's you right there, and and you just say that that kid is unbelievable. Um, you know, I, I don't know how often you know you're coaching. This is business. You, you're the general. I don't know how no. often you stop for a moment and say something like that. I mean, is that is that a common thing for you to say, or is that? I mean, this is obviously a special play. Everyone knew it at the time, but you almost seem to be taken aback there. Yeah. Um, well, the the role he was on. It was unbelievable for 
you know, the, the came out of the what he did as a junior, but then come back. We just beat Boston College on a second half kickoff return by him that put us back up, and then he played very well. And Derek Alexander, a very good wide receiver on the other side, got hurt. And then throughout the rest of that year, it turned to Desmond Show because he was the guy. And he still scored all the touchdowns he scored. He broke a Tom Harmon record and all those things for the season. So um, yeah, that was a special play. And he was a special guy. He he worked hard at it, and uh, – and it paid good dividends. When you 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 just take that play, and is that all the fans remember that kickoff or punt return in the Ohio State game that year was those two plays were unbelievable and probably had a lot to do with him winning the Heisman. Oh, I think so. I want to. Uh, we obviously went through all the headset audio. I want to play the audio from the broadcast because you can hear the, the the reaction in there when the ball is snapped and it's not a run. So I just want to get your reaction okay. to this. Uh, uh, be, uh, I should have heard this, I think, didn't I? Somewhere. Go Notre ahead. Notre Dame will, again, jam three men right over Michigan center. Yep. Matt Elliott. Backs are in the eye on fourth down and inches. Gerback calling the signals. Gets the snap. He's going to throw. He pumps once. Now leaves it deep in the end zone. Touchdown! Jason Howard! What a catch and what a call on fourth down and an inch. Elvis Gerbach heaved it to Desmond Howard for a 25-yard touchdown. Unbelievable. That's great. And the surprise in Frank's voice. Hey, yeah, hey, it, was that a surprise or wasn't that a surprise? That was a complete – he was – he wasn't sure what he was going to say next, right? He's probably thinking, "Oh, and they're going to pass the ball." Oh, no, yeah, no. you can, and you can almost hear. There's almost like a wave in the crowd of. Uh, well, the crowd. Uh, what? It yeah. sounds like the crowd goes. Oh shoot! 